Hello everyone, Carl here. Welcome to Aeronautica once again. And I'm flying the Globemaster. Well, it looks like uh, we've got contrails and everything. Alright, I'm going to let you introduce to the new map feature called the, the runway feature on your map. So, that is, you have, there's this line over here representing where you're going to take off and where you're going to land. It's just a guideline, but it would help, it can help you with your doing a proper landing or airway on your way to your selected airport, like Kitesboro over here. So... As you can see, I'm about to land at Kaisbauer International. And I have to multitask between doing the map feature and landing this plane. Right, it's almost like 7,000 meters away, so... Let's stop deselect first. So, this new feature here allows you to guide your plane, as I said. And I think there's... Oh, it's another C-17 is coming in the opposite direction as my intended landing. So, all you need to do is to uh, just click at your selected airport, like New England Town, or um, Webley, it's so small, or Kitesboro over here, it's one of those large airports. And... Click on it, and I can't click on it. Let me deselect this again. Let's click Kitesboro International. Oh, why is this working? Okay, Kitesboro International. Ah, it's bugged. All right, six thousand away. Let's click this again. Click Kitesboro. Oh, here it is. So, once you select your airport. You just need to click on this runway numbers over here because I think there's one air, one or like three or more airports may have two or more runways as of this current version. So you will have the option of choosing either one which runway pair. In this case, it's 18 and 36 for Kitesboro International. So you can click on this little square here and then it'll give you the option of clicking watch runway and let's click this runway and you'll see the guideline and it's like it's a few meters away from the death from the, the spawn point and usually the, this this dot here is the spawn point for your plane and this guideline over here it should be the runway which is intended to be so you can also press deselect runway so you can, um, if you want to change your, when you change your destination or airport or whatever. So let's, let's just select this again and we'll put the center view on. The center view is another future, you will, it will self-explanatorily center on your aircraft where you are right now and that's the other feature, and then the Toggle Air Force and Players, it has been there for a while. So, as you can see here, we're, we're already close to Kitesboro, and um, I don't know, yes, we're just, we're headed towards the runway. So, this yellow line on the, which is the run, which is your guideline towards the runway, at this case, I'm headed towards runway 18. So, let's, let's maneuver towards the runway area and let's lower the speed because I think in s how many versions ago it's just they changed the system the speed system of this game so let's reduce it to around 9% close to the I don't know why is this happening it's so complex oh we got some important things on the chat going on. Of course he has a YouTube channel. 
great. Hmm. Well, I think he's talking about the one by Nar, not the one, the, the extended version by Mark, which is... Mm-hmm. All right, let's, moving on. Let's head towards the airport. Where are we now? Oh, we're we're a bit we're a bit off. So let's uh, we need to follow the line. So let's uh, let's get to this cloud over here, and we're almost right. So we'll just need to follow the guideline. This yellow guideline leading to the runway. This will take a while. The controls disappear around 5,000 meters and they reappear when you take off around like 5,000 meters as well, so take note of that. And yes, I, uh, I, I disabled the... what do you call those things? Um, yeah, the wingtip smoke. It's, you know, it's some kind of cosmetic. So let's, oh yes, we almost, we almost missed it. So, oh my goodness, we just, uh, we don't want to, that was, that was not part of the plan. So we're going to land over here, then, um, let's increase our speed to 27, which is 33 for now. 25, 25 is better. 5, should be able to, um, at least get into this line okay Oh, that's... an excellent addition so let's follow it and begin the proper landing procedure November 4 5 on the final runway 18 Or should I say four or five, because that's that's the proper pronunciation for four. Alright, I think we are in the optimal speed. So let's just let's slow down a bit. The objective is to actually get to this line here, and then once you parallel, you're parallel to that. You have that's the best time you can lower your altitude or descend, you might call it. 
Oh, that's 27. Just to be fair. Oh, it's still 20 kilometers away. Wow. Oh no, 160. 130. Let's look at 33. Wow. Oh yeah, I was yeah, I was still in the horizon level, so. Alright, there we go. Now we can go 180 degrees. There we go. 180 degrees. Right. 180 degrees. 180 degrees. Alright, there we go. Now we can lower. I mean descend. And uh Go to 27. Oh, no, at least we can go. We'll do a proper landing this time, so... Yes, this is a very good help. My opinion. And I think you can see the runway from here. Oh wait, is that a bit off? I think it's a bit off. Okay, I can see it now. So, I think I'm. Oh, 181, so that's. Okay, okay let's reduce the speed now. Just to make sure we are. All right. Oh, I'm a bit off. All right, all right. Let's, uh, let's go more right a bit. And I think we can. I think that's it. All right. Let's lower ourselves. So. Oh. All right, all right. Let's walk to the right. Right. I think that's good. I think that's. Good one will be one. Oh yes, I'm a bit off. Not to worry. Right. There we go. That's it. One eighty. Very nice. Let's open the gears, and I think we'll use nine, that's a better view there, or one, whatever you like. We'll just use one. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. Butter! Uh, almost. Yeah. Uh, yes, butter is a slang term for a perfect landing, if you want to know what it means. No, I do not. I kind of dislike it because, you know, <laughs> oh, who's, somebody's behind me, oh goodness me, Hmm. 
Yeah. All right. Let's see what what Kira, what does Kira have in his uh, what's his aircraft? Seven forty-seven eight. I see. Oh, we got another plane taking off. And it's one of those spiders. Oh, F-15. And right. I think it's this yellow guideline is uh, good help. As I said, <laughs> butter's too tasty. <laughs> so that's prefer not to call it butter, you know, to call a perfect landing called it butter, so I only reserve it for something that's more culinary. <laughs> so I'll just call it a perfect landing. So let's uh, stop so we can get our reward for this job right here. Break, and then let's um, let's finish by refueling our plane. I think this I'll end it from here and um. And that is a short tutorial on this new feature for Aeronautica, Aeronautica called the Yellow Guideline so for your runways whenever if you want to land your plane. It's just an easy guide, waypoint or whatever you like to call it. And I'll see you in the next video. Screenshot taken. Oh, anyway, it doesn't work. All right. Oh, let's see if there are any side. There's more. Oh, just normal missions.